Historically, climate change has always existed. There is even a natural greenhouse effect. So, we don't need to make a big deal about it. Well, actually, it's a little bit more complicated than that. It's true that a natural greenhouse effect exists, and it's a good news, as it allows life on Earth. It is also true that there are several records of big and abrupt climatic changes in the Earth's history. For instance, 56 million years ago, a massive additional greenhouse effect led to global warming, likely linked to volcanic activity. Temperatures rose, ocean acidified, leading to mass marine life extinction, and more extreme meteorological phenomena were recorded as well. This event is actually helpful for making sense of the effect of our current climate change. So what is different this time? Two things, the origin of the change and the rate of the warming. You may already be familiar with the IPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, a UN-based organization comprising about 200 benevolent scientists that in their last report, for example, analyzed over 14,000 peer-reviewed articles. Their assessment of these scientific studies states that the current climate change is without any doubt of an anthropic nature, linked to human activities, which was certainly not the case 56 million years ago. The use of fossil energies, coal, oil, gas in particular, is responsible for 80% of our greenhouse gas emissions. The second major difference is that temperature warming has never increased as fast as today. Rather than still questioning, is climate change man-made, for which we have a scientific answer saying undoubtedly yes, the question we should be asking is, how can we reduce our emissions? And at the same time, how can we adapt to this new era?